All right, time for a fish room update. Haven't done one of these in a couple months. Um, life's been crazy for me, uh, to be honest with you. Um, since the whole COVID-19 thing hit, uh, my daytime job has been way busier and just, uh, it's, it's turned into just kind of a craziness. And then there's a lot of extra stress things like that involved and so I haven't done as many videos I just haven't had time to uh, do things like that um, been able to keep up with water changes and stuff like that though because any outside activity that I used to do in evenings or weekends is pretty much done uh, so I do have that time on my hands but um, it just seems like it's been harder to get to actually doing videos and editing and stuff like that so Thought I would uh, do a video and show you guys what's uh, what's been going on in the fish room. Uh, you probably saw a video that I put up recently. Uh, I do have an African cichlid tank again upstairs. I'm not going to show that in this video, but um, we will uh, keep you updated on that kind of in a separate series, I guess. Um, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe if you like what you see. I do, or I try to do regular updates on my fish room, on my shrimp tanks, on my reef tanks, and. Uh, and everything like that so <clears throat> also if you're looking to buy fish food shrimp food products related to aquaria uh, check out my company's website aquatic support systems.com uh, we sell quite a wide variety of stuff um, and I'd love to uh, get your business so with that we will uh, start the update here all right well we're gonna start with uh, Cheeto and his woman and the three silver dollars in the tank. He is hanging out in the uh, flower pot, as you can see right here. Sorry for a little bit of algae um, that's blocking, but um, he's doing well. Um, he exhibits some kind of weird behaviors at times. He does some upside down swimming and stuff like that. I'm not sure what that's all about, but um, overall doing real good. Nice side shot of him. No spawning activity, um, but that's nothing new. Um, that hasn't happened now for probably a year, if I can remember right. But uh, still really enjoy having this fish. Um, and the uh, even the female, she doesn't have as nice a color, but still, she's a good looking gal too. And then his brother is right next door over here and his female, um, they're doing good as well. No, uh, no spawning behavior, um, but uh, they're, they're getting along just fine. And uh, you know, um, good looking fish as well. Um, I say no spawning behavior and then they're kind of doing this, uh, this action here. So maybe, uh, maybe sometime soon, I don't know. But uh, yeah, they're up here in 125 gallon, whereas Cheeto's in 180 gallon. I got a 180 gallon dual stack rack and then 125 with 180 down below um, with the Trimac pair. Male's looking real nice, growing a lot. The female right now is getting picked on a little bit. She's back behind here. But uh, she comes out from time to time and uh, up until yesterday probably they'd been doing a lot of swimming around together and getting along real good and then he started nipping at her again because he's probably wanting to wanting to breed and she's not ready but overall i think this guy's a good looking trimac kind of the classic tall body style trimac um and uh got some nice coloration i wish she'd come out but doesn't look like she's gonna and then down over here are the uh, Amphilophus redis latus. All of the fish that I've just shown you are all Amphilophus. He's going a little nuts right now trying to uh, chase her around, but as with the Midas, uh, no spawning behavior from, from these guys in quite some time. But they get along pretty good. He chases her around and she hides back in this area most of the time. <laughs> I 
And so we'll stick with Amphilophus here, um, kind of go that route this time. This is the 210 gallon where I've got, I don't know, I think it's like 12 or 15 Midas grow outs from this male and then his old female that he ended up killing. <clears throat> and they're starting to get really pretty sizable, some of them. Um, you know, a good seven inches, I'd say. Um, some of them are starting to get some pretty nice nuchal humps. Well, there's one that still hasn't peeled right here. Continues to grow though. Um, but yeah, these guys are doing real good. Uh, the clown loaches, uh, the ones I've got left are in here. Had a couple of losses on the clown loach side of things over the past several months. Not really sure what the deal is, but uh, could be old age. Uh, there's at least five in here still. But yeah, these guys are looking decent. I'm looking forward to seeing kind of what these guys bring as uh, they continue. This is the biggest one. This is the one that was bigger than all the rest that I had separate. I don't know if you if you follow my videos closely, you'll know what I'm talking about. And then this is the biggest from the group that I put in here all together at the same time. Probably like two inches when I threw them all in this 210 a few months ago and they just really have grown fast because uh, you know this is a seven seven foot by I think two foot fit footprint and just a lot of water and uh, allows fish to, to really grow and I'm doing massive water changes as well so this was the last one to peel as you can see this it still has uh, some black on them compared to some of the others so really looking forward to seeing what what these guys turn out to look like and then the final Amphilophus is, well not the final, I'll show you some more, is this uh, Lone Trimac over here. Um, he's doing good. Just thinking of doing a little feeding too. Um, maybe I'll feed the Midas in a second, but I'll sh keep showing you this guy for a second. Um, he's doing good, he's, he's quite the beast. I, I get torn on which, which male I like better, this one or the one I showed you earlier, but um, at any rate, I like them both and they're doing, they're doing good. Uh, let's go feed these Midas over here and then I'll show you the last Amphilophus. Okay, this is gonna be a little tricky. I gotta take the top off and they're already going nuts. So what I'm feeding these guys at this point in their life is Southern Delight Power Feed and they go crazy over it. Wow, splashing me all over the place. see they dig this stuff for sure the loaches like it too sometimes I'll supplement some uh, veggie krill in there for the loaches I'll put some in right now since we're talking about it this is the southern delight veggie krill that's a more sinking pellet and um, something that the loaches are would, would appreciate more but at any rate as you can see they dig this food and they got great appetites. Typically I feed most of my fish just in the morning. I'm filming this in the evening, so this is their second feeding of the day. And, uh, you know, as you can see, they're always ready to eat. I could probably feed them four times a day and they chow down. But um, let us go over to the last Amphilophus tank. We're going way out of order this time. But here are my Red Devil or Amphilophus labiatus growouts that came from James Randall. I've got them now in a 120 gallon fat boy, and uh, they're really they're really starting to grow. They're they're super skittish though, as you can see. But at the same time, they come right back after they retreat, if you will. I'm gonna feed these guys some Southern Delight small cichlid, and uh, you can watch them chow down as well. So I'm kind of excited to see how these guys turn out. <clears throat> um, some of them are quite a bit bigger than the others. Some of them I got at a little bit bigger size as well. So that's part of the 
part of it, but um, I got two different batches from James Randall. <clears throat> of these one I bought right directly from him, and the other I bought from our local auction, and they were a little bit bigger than what I already had, so. At any rate, that's them. Let's just go right up above here and uh, show you the flower horn. This is the 9.9 .9 King Comfa. Um, he's doing real good as always. Nuchal hump and design, or not design, but pattern on the nuchal hump is just crazy. Super crazy. Really dig this fish. Not super into hybrids, but uh, this is one that's just always captivated me. It's one of those fish that you could have a hard time ever wanting to get rid of. Um, the other flower horn over here. This is a pretty nice one too. This is a red magma. Um, I'm not as into this guy as, as uh, the one that we just looked at, but uh, he's, he's pretty cool too. I've had both of these flower horns for several years now. Let's see if we can. This tank's a little... It's got streaks and stuff on it, but... And then down below here is, once again, the lone Red Tiger Moda Rio Blanco. This is Gina Suki. I've had him for quite some time. Uh, if you follow my videos, you know that I paired him up with a female I got from James Randall, both of which are unrelated, but came from Sean Hyden's awesome stock. And they were getting along good. They actually did lay eggs. Uh, they didn't make it to even free swimmers or wigglers, but things were going real good. And then just like he did to his first wife, overnight one night with no signs the day before, he just completely decimated her, murdered her overnight. This is now about a month ago. I just haven't made a video since then, so that's what's up with this guy. I don't have much else to really say about him at this point, but he's down here in this 75 gallon now. And took him out of the 120 because he didn't have a female with him anymore, and uh, there was no need to use that tank, and wanted to get those red devils in there to grow out. All right, down below now, uh, you can see that I did make a change. I've moved Magnus and Beast to, down to the 210 from the 300. They're just continuing to do their thing and in their old age, hang out, you know, whatever. He's, he's, neither of them are, are, they're both looking worse for wear. And that's just how it's gonna be till the end of their days. They pick at each other, and they're just getting old. Um, his nuchal hump basically is non-existent anymore, so he looks like a complete different fish than the old awesome Magnus that you see here on the Aquatic Support Systems logo from when he was in his prime. But, you know, they're still fun fish to have, and I'm keeping holding on to them. Let's see how thick this guy is. I mean, it's close to six inches thick. She is too. As far as like body stuff, or like the way their bodies are shaped and stuff, she's actually looking better than he is in their old age. She's kind of still maintained a pretty good body profile, whereas without his nuchal hump, he just, he looks not the greatest, but it is what it is. When fish get old, I mean, these guys, I have down in my records from Mike Mann, who raised these up and had them through their prime, that these fish were bought in 2012 as small fish, so shows you how old they are. <clears throat> and then I moved the other Umbi pair, Optimus and Matrix, into the 300 so that they could uh, hopefully put on a little growth and just have a bigger place. And uh, it's going good so far. Um, they've been a little skittish since they've been in here. It just seems like they're not quite used to their surroundings. And when I come to feed, whereas they both usually just went crazy and splashed and knew food was coming, um, they're not doing it as much anymore. Um, 
I mean, this is only this has been less than a week since I moved them, but um, she's been hanging out in the pot though quite a bit, and she's got that nice gold goldish blonde coloration. So it could, uh, you know, the new environment could get them to spawn here pretty quick. Um, here's a good nice side profile of him. Let's see if we can't get him to show off a little bit here. Real nice fish though. You don't realize how big these guys are until you actually net them and get them out of the water when you're moving them sometimes and wow, it's just crazy. Just like a massive muscle too. I mean, they just, they're so strong. This guy was a beast when I got him in the net. Used one of those big trout nets. <clears throat> I wish she'd come over uh, a little bit closer to the camera, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. But yeah, that's really about it for the update. Um, I'm not gonna keep recording. I'll let you guys go, but I appreciate those uh, that subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Which fish, which fish you like the best uh, in the fish room? Um, any other questions or comments that you have, uh, please leave those below. Again, if you're looking for fish food, we are the exclusive online retailers for Southern Delights sold in bulk, AquaticSupportSystems.com. And we also sell the Southern Delight bottles as well. And I sell a ton of different shrimp food and shrimp products and other aquarium related stuff. So if you're looking for anything like that, you know, if you like, uh, if you want to try different food, give Southern Delight a try. Um, it's, it's tried and true. Uh, a lot of top notch breeders use it exclusively. Um, it's a food that I swear by and I was, I swore by it before I started selling it before I was sponsored by them in the past. Um, you know, it was just something that I uh, really thought was a good food and had great luck with. And now I've, over the past couple of years, been lucky enough to be able to actually carry it as a product and sell it and make a little money to help support the hobby. So if this is your first time watching, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like what you see, check out some of my other videos, some of my playlists. Make sure you hit that like button too. And again, leave a comment. Um, that type of thing really helps the channel grow and YouTube channels that grow just help the hobby in general. So until next time.